How's it going? Trey Knight, Knight's Armor Company. We are here at the very beginning of SHOT Show. It's like the first 15, 20 minutes, so I'm about as fresh as I get. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the KS-1, the SR-15 KS-1. And uh, I'm just going to really, you guys are probably, I'm not going to bore you with like all the regular SR-15 stuff, but we'll go over what's different about this gun. Um, the first thing that you're going to notice is this integrated trigger guard. So the trigger guard is uh, integrated into the weapon. That's solid, not removable, one piece. You know, a lot of people have been doing this, a lot of the billet builders, and um, we found that, especially on the SR-25, that it actually strengthened the receiver. So there was some engineering behind this. That is one difference, if you notice, the KS-1, the service KS-1, or the SF-16 version of the gun, has a fully removable trigger guard, and that was a requirement for, uh, for winter testing, but we did not include that on this weapon, you know, just because of... Uh, just because this is kind of where you're, where we're just making some improvements to the lower. So these are made from forgings and uh, incorporate our, uh, our new fully ambidextrous bolt release and bolts catch. So everybody's been kind of asking for that. Obviously it was a little bit of us having to use up the, our supply chain resources of what we had in stock. And uh, we've been kind of planning on going to this for a while, but now we're at the point where we're, we're, we're building these guns in this configuration. Uh, the other thing on this KS-1 is the URX-6. So pretty much all the, uh, all the KS series um, include the URX-6, which is the most rigid uh, rail that we've, that we've made to date. It incorporates uh, you know, some, new, uh, some new design features that we use, especially a lot of this we end up learning on the 7.62 gun, and we translate and try to standardize down to the 5.56 stuff. The, the KS-1 does come with a dimpled barrel. I know everybody likes that. Obviously, that's a huge cost driver for us. So, you know, we incorporate it on the gun because people want it, but, you know, it is, uh, it is both a, a resource and, and cost increase to be able to, to do that. that. I believe the dimples are the only, only available on the KS-1 uh, rifle, and that's true for the both the SR-15 and 16 series. Basically, a lot of the KS features um, came from uh, a few programs, a few government programs that we were working on. We, uh, we spent a lot of time and energy doing kind of a, you know, an update or a reboot um, on the, on the 5.56 series. And we've been in production of, of those weapons in our SR-16 line for about a year to two years. And now we're finally starting to get to the point where we're gonna hopefully get these to the commercial market. So this KS series, it's pretty much a whole new line of, uh, with these features uh, as far as the URX-6 and uh, the new up updated lower with full ambidextrous and uh, uh, integrated trigger guard. Integrated, I don't know what I'd call the non-removable trigger guard. Integrated, that work? <laughs> but anyways, KS series, it's our, our latest and greatest.